In this tutorial, you will learn how to compile a code in C Sharp. Let's write a simple program to run the code. For that, open up Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. Now open up a new program. That is File, New Project. Make sure you select Console Application. Type name as Compile in the text box and press Enter. Compile is the name of the project we are creating. You can see that some of the code is already present here. This is program.cs, where we will be writing our code. The window on your right is the Solution Explorer that allows you to navigate between files, which we will not be using much here, as we are going to work in a single file. And in the bottom, you can see a window titled Error List. This shows errors, if present in your code when you compile your file. If the error window is not present, you can open it from the menu. This window is present in the View menu on the top. Let's look into the Program.cs window. The following components build the complete program. The main method, the class keyword and the class name, the using of predefined classes. In C Sharp, classes are the primary building blocks of the language. C Sharp provides certain predefined sets of classes and methods. We can use those predefined classes by using keywords. Next, we have a class that can be defined by the user. Here the class program is for our utility. Class is the keyword and program is the class name. Inside the class, we have the main method, static void main. So void is the return type and static is a type of method. Main method is the entry point for a program. The body of the main is enclosed in delimiters, just like the class body. Now let's write a program to print hello world onto the screen. Inside the main method type system dot console dot write line braces quotes hello world semicolon. Note that the line ends with a semicolon. The dot character is used to access the method write line, which is present in the predefined class console of the predefined namespace system. Namespace is a collection of classes. It is a keyword, just like class and method. So this line can be rewritten as console.writeLine. If the statement using system is included in the first line, this declares that you can refer to any classes defined in the namespace system. To compile the program, move over Build and click on Build Solution, or press F6 on your keyboard. You can see in the left corner here that the build succeeded and there are no errors in the error list. Let's create a simple error here. Delete the semicolon and press F6. You can see that the build failed and the error list reads semicolon expected. Now let's add the semicolon back. Compile by pressing F6. Then to run the program, click on debug and move over start debugging, or you can use the shortcut F5. You can see a console window that flickered here for a second. The console window does not stay longer as the command gets executed and the program stops. To make the console window stay until the user input, add console.readline, semicolon. This makes the console window wait for the user input. You can compile the program again by pressing the shortcut key to build, that is F6. Whenever changes are made in the program, it's necessary to compile the program to make the changes effective. Run the program by pressing F5, which is the shortcut key to execute the program. You can see that the window waits for an input. Let's press enter and the program ends.